Uh, the Earth is um, about four and a half billion years old and the reason we know that there are, there are different ways of finding out how old things are and one of them is to look at rocks and to look at um, atoms in the rocks called radioactive atoms which decay so they fall to bits and uh, they're, they're like little clocks and so let's say you have a let's say you have a hundred atoms of something and in in one billion years half of those would have fallen to bits and gone away. Then you can use that as a clock. You can see how many of those atoms are present in the rock and that allows you to date it. So that's one way. And then you can also look at the way that the, the Earth, the surface of the Earth changes and moves. There's a thing called plate tectonics, which is that the, the parts of the Earth shift against other parts and split away. So for example, the Atlantic Ocean, if you look at a map of the Earth, um, then you might see that if you look at America and South America and Africa and Europe, they look like they fit together. And that's because they did fit together once. And the Atlantic Ocean has been spreading apart by quite just a few centimetres per year. But that allows you to estimate how long it was, for example, since the Atlantic Ocean began to form. And so there are different ways of doing it. The most accurate way, though, is with the rocks and the little radioactive atoms that decay.